The presidential election is less than 30 days away. And you and I are being bombarded with reasons why we should vote for either Kamala Harris or Donald Trump. Some say it's Democrat versus Republican. Of course it is. Some say it's conservative versus liberal. Of course it is. But let me suggest to you a different way that we should evaluate this. Let's evaluate these candidates using words that begin with the letter C. Here's how it works. I'll say the word and you tell me, or you think, and you give me by way of your comments, which candidate this word applies to. You ready? Let's start with this word, competent. Harris or Trump? Compassionate. Harris or Trump? Cooperative. Harris or Trump? Considerate. Harris or Trump? Candid, as in tells the truth all the time. Harris or Trump? And look, friends, you can say neither if you want to. That's fine. Committed to this country, committed to the people, committed to doing what is right. Harris or Trump? Well, let's consider some other words that begin with C that we can all agree we don't want to elect a person who has these characteristics. Chaotic. Harris or Trump? Cruel. Harris or Trump? Combative. Harris or Trump? Clueless. Harris or Trump? Conceited. Harris or Trump? Childish, Harris, or Trump, and our last word, criminal. Now, these are all C words that I suggest if we sort this out, we should be able to decide who should be the president of the United States and who shouldn't be based upon their characteristics. Not politics, not liberal versus conservative, not Democrat versus Republican, but who they are as core individuals. I think that matters. It should always matter. Tell me what you think.